and a wife. Then there was Jeff. And I made up my mind, no matter what, he'd be his own man. And I knew that I'd love him. But he drives me screaming up the wall sometimes. Jeff and his dad have a unique relationship. It's high time you start thinking about a family of your own. Find some nice young fella, get set up in life. One based on mutual respect. I don't want to live in a world that just begins and ends with being gay. I like having all sorts of people around, kids and old folks. And mutual misunderstanding. <sighs> Even fancied a couple of the girls. Done it with a few of them just to make sure I wasn't missing out on anything. You've done it with girls? You never told me that. Yeah. I didn't want you to get your hopes up going out. Well, as a matter of fact, I am. I thought I'd just pop down to the pub for a couple of beers. Right? Got a date. How does a son ever find romance? Is your dad out? He'll be in bed. Well, shouldn't we be a bit quiet then? I bring blokes back all the time. <laughs> Not there's that many, I mean. With a dad who doesn't know when to get lost. Up your bum. <coughs> it's just a joke. Dad's always making jokes. Nothing on uh, telly, Dad. Nothing worth watching. This is much better, eh? Well, we better push off. Maybe it's too domestic. The Samuel Goldwyn Company presents a comedy. How many pairs of my socks did you borrow? I can almost see your religion. About the true value of family. Love, the greatest adventure of all. Your grandmother said it once. I'll never forget it. Is that why she became a dyke? Your grandmother was not a dyke. A lesbian, perhaps. The Some of Us. Some of you will be going, uh, probably. <laughs>